Black Desert Online has recently released on Xbox One, and as I've covered this game a lot in the past, Pearl Abyss decided to sponsor me to make a Journey to Level 50 video for the game, and discuss the differences between the Xbox One version and the PC version, as well as give some first impressions. I know a lot of you enjoy these kind of leveling progression videos, so hopefully you'll enjoy watching this one too. I have a randomly generated Xbox account name, Snubwhistle7380. Currently there's four channels. Let's just go on Balanos 1. So at launch for the Xbox version of Black Desert, you've got the choice between six classes, the Warrior, the Ranger, the Sorceress, the Berserker, the Wizard, or the Witch. I, however, have already decided that I want to pick a Ranger because I remember Rangers being really good at grinding with their pre-awaken, and I've never played the Ranger before, so it should be a fairly new experience for me. The Ranger by default does look very good. It seems as though the character customization still has a lot of the crazy sliders that you saw in the PC version of the game. What's this? Oh, wow. <laughs> We we'll have some faint green and red paint on her face just to make her look a little bit unique. Okay, that's creepy. That's too happy. No. No. Let's go with the generic star tattoo, shall we? So this is the main thing I want to increase. Give her a bit of thickness. And I think I'm happy with that. Now, I've always had a bit of tinfoil that horoscope in Black Desert actually gives you hidden RNG. It's probably not true, but that's my tinfoil. Let's jump into it and begin the adventure. And we've got a new intro cutscene from what I remember from the PC version. We wake up in Western Guard Camp now. It's gonna take a little bit of getting used to playing this on a controller. You can sprint by pressing LT, which feels quite good. For any of you that are new players out there, you're gonna see a lot of question marks on the map. These are NPCs that you haven't spoke to yet, and talking to them gives you knowledge, which is a useful resource that you will need later. So just talk to every single NPC that you come across. Main attack, RB. Okay, that feels comfortable. Game's teaching me some abilities right now. Charging wind. Nice spin kick. Got my first kill quest. It's gonna take a bit of getting used to, but the ranger feels fairly solid so far. I got myself a free tier five horse and a set of horse armor for pre-ordering the game. Very nice. That's gonna help me out a lot. I'm gonna kill ourselves some wolves now. Poor little wolves, what have they done wrong? Not much. Let's do my X ability. And this charges up something called, I think it's Razor Wind. Big damage. Briar armor. Fantastic. We'll take what we can get right now. It's going to give us 5 DP. Every little helps. We're now heading into the Ancient Stone Chamber. On the PC version of the game, I had tinfoil that this was a lucky place to enhance gear. So I would always come here to do gear enhancers. It worked for a while and then I failed everything, so I guess it wasn't so lucky after all. Black Spirit's not a fan of these guys. And he's evolved into a happier Black Spirit. Got ourselves another speed buff. I'm soon getting to the point where what a lot of people would do is stop with the questing and just go out and grind or something. But honestly, as a new player, if you've never played BDO before, I wouldn't recommend you do that because you're only new to an MMO for a little bit of time. And it's a lot more fun just doing the quests, slowly learning the game, exploring, and just having that new player experience. You only really get to experience that once. We have discovered Imp Cave. We're going to talk to Tiny Nose. My first ever class in BDO was a Sork, and I found that to be quite fun, pre-awakened. But the mobility of the ranger is really cool, and I like the resource system. I like doing this combo. You also get a lot of inventory expansion from questing as well, so that's another reason why it's well worth it. Summoning this big boy. If you're undecided on a class to play for uh, Black Desert Xbox launch, I highly recommend the ranger. It's got one of the most fun pre-awakens I've experienced so far. And we've just arrived at Velia, a good place to have your main home in this game. The thing I like about Xbox is getting Xbox achievements. I don't really care about achievements on PC or anything, 
But I remember when I had the Xbox 360, I was a bit of an achievement whore and I really like to collect those things. So this is something new that Black Desert recently added to the game, both on the PC version and it comes with the Xbox version. It's called the Central Market. It's a way better marketplace system than what they had before. I hated the old Black Desert Market because I used to have to spend hours standing in front of it sniping materials and resources. But now, with the Central Market, you don't really have to do that anymore. You can essentially place buy orders and place sell orders and you can list a lot more on the market at once. So, fantastic update to the game that was. You know, questing could actually be a decent form of money making early on in this game. Like when you do the quests that give you a gold bar and take next to no time. Like that one, get the girl's cat. Let's see if we can get a green worker, that'll do nicely. So we're gonna buy the goblin worker. This lady looks like she's tripping balls right now. So I hired a worker earlier that lives in Velia. I want to put him to work on Bartelli farm. This farm produces potatoes, which I need to produce beer, which will keep my workers working. So I'm going to go over here, go to node management, invest contribution. It costs two contribution points out of the eight that I've got. Then I'm gonna click potato farming at the bottom. And then I simply put manage work, click on the worker, start work, and he's starting his potato farming. That's level 15 and we get evasive shot 2 unlocked, very nice. Two upgrades, Rebla farmer, nice, that's 8 DP. Some gloves, 11 DP, binder necklace, this gives me 8 accuracy. Can you sit against the rock? You can. Nice. A violent elite goblin soldier. Maybe he gives me something good. Big damage. Oh, that's level 16 and now I can see day and night time. Nice. We got a progenal silver bar for killing that guy. Nice. This is one of the cooler looking bosses in the game, I think. I really like his mask. GG, Gaiaf. Oh, this is cool. I've never been in here before. There's a little cave area underneath Cron Castle. I never knew that. There's lots of little hidden caves in this game throughout the world. Interesting. I remember this used to be like a level 50 grind spot at one point. I guess it's been reworked. Ronu, we escaped the castle. Oh, wow. That's a nice view. I've never heard music like this before in Black Desert. It's very intense. <laughs> Another speed buff. Gotta run fast, gotta run fast, everybody loves to run fast. Oh, you get horses now instead of donkeys. <laughs> Beginner brown horse, Sparky. 2,752 silver. See you later, Sparky. You had a good run. Come on, horse. We're going to hide out. This horse is certainly a far cry from a Pegasus on the PC version of the game. And finally, we arrive at Hydel. There's a crap ton of people I can talk to in Hydel to get knowledge of. But I can't really be bothered right now. I'll do that at a later point. Pro tip to any of you new guys starting out on the Xbox version of the game. You can come to this person in Heidel or Nelia, the arms dealer, and you can buy an amazing starting weapon for 250,000. The Ornelia longbow, axe, staff, amulet, or longsword. It costs 250,000, which if you do your intro quests, you should have enough for. And it has... 30 to 34 AP and 168 accuracy, which is really huge in starting out. So with my new weapon, I'm now one or two shotting the imps. So it was definitely worth it. You can really feel the additional accuracy. Grinding is going very fast now. That's level 20. It's nice starting out all over again back in simpler times before awakenings when there's only like three zones. Everyone's poor. No one's got good gear. And just having to build up everything from scratch all over again, it's quite enjoyable. Oh, I've bloody climbed the thing without needing to climb the thing. It's gone from a cute little black Pokemon and he awakens to be a creepier black Pokemon. He's also got six nipples now. I've always found Beg to be one of the harder bosses to do because he flings his whip around and it tends to CC you quite a bit. But I'm probably going to kill him fairly quickly thanks to my new weapon. Oh, never mind. I'm on my ass. Another pro tip for you new players. If you look at the mini-map, quest objective mobs are the orange ones. So you can always get a good idea of where they're grouped up just by glancing at your mini-map. 
So far, I've been really impressed by how intuitive the controls are for the Xbox One version of this game. Coming into this, I was quite skeptical because Black Desert is quite a complex MMO compared to a lot of other MMOs. I don't really play a lot of console games myself, so I was worried that I wouldn't be able to pick it up very quickly and that it would feel awkward to control but it hasn't really felt that way so far, which I'm happy about. I'm actually able to enjoy the game. We got ourselves a Bastyr Dagger, that is 5 AP, that's an upgrade, lots of accuracy as well. Now I've just got to slaughter these camps of soldiers. Now we're gonna fight Al Rundi, the guy with the spiked helmet. He's one tall ass guy, isn't he? Al Rundi. I bet he's Dutch. Oh no, I'm gonna die! I haven't got the right potions bound to my hot, hot bar. <laughs> oh no! I died to a bloody quest boss. Oh, we've beaten Al Rundi and now he surrendered. What's this? Eagle's Talon. We've got ourselves a new necklace. What does it give me? 4 AP. Bloody hell, here we go. We're off to Glish now. Provoke the Fogan. Really? We're just luring this Fogan all the way into prison? He's not that stupid, surely. Apparently he is that stupid. Put the Fogan in the prison. Wow. Oh, nice. We found the Fogan Elite. He's going to give me some big money. Spread out AoE. Whenever you see a violent mob, always kill them. There we go. More silver bars. Oh, there's another violent mob. Wow. This seems like a good place to make some money. Oh, that's level 26 as well. Blackstone weapon. Nice. That's what I like about the start of BDO. It feels like every semi-decent drop every resource that you get it just feels so much more impactful sophisticated iconic woman oh god we just got licked we just got bloody crushed now there we go we got him really start upgrading my skills i've got 100 skill points and haven't spent any yet oh god the black spirits upgraded again this person got the family name sword art online and his character's called Carito. Right now, I'm not really doing any of the side quests. I'm only really following the main quest line because that's what gives you the best stuff. It's level 30. Very easy. I think like every mob's given me one or two percent. Oh, we got an achievement as well. The veteran. I wouldn't say level 30 in Black Desert is being a veteran, but okay, Xbox. You can call it that if you like. So I need to climb down in this well. And learn about this hidden chamber. We're getting lots of Blackstone weapons drop now. Got another boss summon scroll. We're going to summon the bandit leader. Let's see if this boss has any challenge. This guy was very easy to kite. I don't think I've taken any damage from fighting him. Another Blackstone from the quest. Another Blackstone from the quest. Nice. That's level 33. So the quest is to move these boxes from here to about 10 meters away. Why can't the guy just walk over here and get the supplies himself? This is a nice view, isn't it? Oh, that's level 34 now. I've actually been getting a fair amount of combat XP from doing these quests. Oh, no! No, 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 no! Okay, we got lucky. It's actually faster if I use the auto pathing to reach my destination and just hold down sprint. That seems to be way more efficient. Oh, I'm almost dead. What's hurting me? I need to pay attention to my health a little bit more. I'm chugging health potions, fighting... These harpies. Quest complete. I'm almost dead. And that's level 35. And the game's put me 60% into it. So you really do get a lot of XP for questing in this game now. Or just doing the main quest anyway. Oh, what's this? A guild wants to employ me. I'll join a guild. Why not? I joined a guild called Elysium. Must be a brilliant guild if it's just inviting any random person in. <laughs> I really like how much XP you get from the new 1 to 50 leveling experience in this game. It's nice to have the choice to either quest or just go out and grind. I've done the 1 to 50 grind experience so many times in Black Desert on the PC version that it's nice to just be able to quest my way up. Probably equip some gear with higher DP soon. These harpies are shredding me. That's put me up to 65 DP. Hopefully it can make a difference. There's a violent mob over here. Definitely worth killing a violent harpy. I've just upgraded some of my abilities. I'm just doing way more damage now. That's level 37. Oh, wow. I've unlocked my ulti as well now. Which seems to be activated when I press both triggers. I've always enjoyed this area of the game, like the northern wheat plantation area. It just looks so wholesome. Lots of farms, windmills. It's a really cozy looking place. Very colourful. Reminds me a bit of Holland, actually. More NPCs to meet and talk to. Just got an Xbox achievement. 100 points. 
for discovering 50 nodes. I'm going to upgrade three pieces of my Nigerian armor to plus five because the enhancement is guaranteed at that point. It's also probably worth upgrading this Bastille longbow to plus seven. 38 to 42 AP. So now we're 49 AP, 69 DP. I'm going to combine the gloves I have with this ornament and it should upgrade it. So to do this, I'm going to hold down LT and press up on the D pads, then go to processing, heating, open the inventory, combine this with the gloves, start and start. There we go, wind crystal gloves. So now we've got to grind a bunch of owls for various quests. I'm expecting the leveling to significantly slow down at some point. Level 39, I've unlocked an ability called Cool of the Earth, whatever the hell that does. For this quest we get a black stone, for this quest we get another black stone, another black stone, and a bunch of XP and a move speed buff, thank you. And a boss quest. And an achievement unlocked. I love this early game feeling of progression that you get at the start of Black Desert. It's really nice. Jump on the herb brewer five times. So this isn't a main quest. It's a side quest that I accidentally took. But I don't know why we're attacking rocks. And I don't know why arrows are hurting rocks. But it's a thing apparently. There it is. We killed the rocks somehow. Another awakening quest. The Black Spirit's getting progressively more creepy. I feel like Indiana Jones right now. Although Indiana Jones can shoot fucking walls down with an arrow. That's level 41 as well now. Most of these quests are giving me 25 or 30% XP of a level. I almost feel as though this is just as fast as grinding, if not faster. It's kind of weird fighting the trolls. They look so big and powerful, but they die quite easily. Oh! My ulti does so much damage. Feels really impactful. Got a new earring. What does this do? 3 AP, very nice. We've got a violent troll over here. Hopefully he drops me some good stuff. And he's just dropped me 11 of these silver bars. That's worth 220k from killing one mob. That's a lot of money at this stage in the game. Now summoning the elder troll. Let's just pop my ulti on him and see how much damage it does. Quite a lot. That's level 43. Next quest takes me to Calfion City. Oh wow, there's a bunch of fireworks in the air. Bloody hell, lots of fireworks. Entering Calfion as the fireworks are going off. <laughs> Lean against the chimney. Well, we'll sit on the chimney. Okay, there we go. I'm not too sure how to turn the UI off, though. Lots of NPCs to talk to in Calfion. I don't know if I can be bothered to talk to them all because it'll take a while. Two Pry Berez earrings set on the market right now. Might as well pick at least one of those up. Been in Calfion for a while doing lots of talk to me quests recently. I'm looking forward to getting out and making some progress. I spent so long grinding bloody chimeras when Black Desert first launched on PC. Luckily, I'm not grinding chimeras for hours in this version of the game. All right, so now my character needs to sprint through a maze and then summon a monster. Oh, this guy's all chained up. Is he going to break the chains? He is. Much more challenging boss than the other ones I've been fighting. And I'm out of potions. So I need to not take damage right now. I need to pop the ulti. Just pop it now. Ugh, lucky. It's a good thing I charged that up. I think I've been playing Ranger wrong for quite some time. I need to hold down my shoot button and then like mess around with the movement keys. And she just slides across the floor. And she seems to shoot in much more rapid succession, dealing way bigger damage. Hold the shoot button, but don't tap it. Here we go, big damage. And that's level 45, and now I can get a really good weapon. Borrow superb Kia weapon and armor in Calfion's workshop district. Meet Canovas and Dobart, who are lending their gear out. Okay. Um, I'm a little bit confused, because usually from this NPC, there's a little thing at the bottom that says, give him contribution points for a weapon. And Dobart as well, he's supposed to be able to lend me gear, but he's not either. Skilled human worker, don't mind if I do. Gluttonous monsters, kill these guys. This is quite effective, just slide around, just sniping things. Okay, so this has given me a bit of a decision to make. It's a longbow with 60 accuracy, but 42 to 50 AP. So it has a hundred less accuracy than my current bow, 
However, it has a bit more AP. I can't really tell which weapon's more effective, to be honest. When you get used to your abilities on Ranger, it really is probably the most fun pre-awakened class in the game. Really glad I decided to pick this class. So for this quest, I've got to kill 100 giants. I don't think it's going to take too long though. I've been using a new ability a lot now. It's called Will of the Wind. It's LTLB and it CCs them and deals very nice damage in an AOE cone. I need to remember to buy potions. I've been playing for so long just with no potions and I knew it was going to come and bite me in the ass because I'm almost dead. Am I going to die first or is the boss going to die first? That's the question. 90 HP. Oh, I'm panicking. I bloody died. When will I remember to buy potions? That's what happens when I have potions, noob. I just got myself a Kaya necklace. What does this give me? 7 AP. Wow, that's a big upgrade. These talk to me quests have almost taken me all the way from level 47 to 48. This should just be a permanent thing throughout all of Black Desert, even side quests. Just every quest gives you a little bit of combat XP. It's really enjoyable. It really enhances that sense of progression you get when playing the game. I've got to go all the way to Port Etheria now. Bit of a long run, this one. Can't really remember any long quest chains at Port Etheria, but... Looks like we're going to go to the Catfish Camp now. I don't know what it is, but I just enjoyed the vanilla leveling experience in this game. There's just so much to do, and you get a crazy sense of progression from just everything you do. Quests give you contribution points. They give you good gear. You're gaining AP and upgrades all the time. Quests even give you XP now towards combat, which is fantastic. Running everywhere increases your breath. Eating foods increasing your health all the time. You're constantly getting upgrades. You're discovering new areas of the map. You're talking to NPCs, gaining energy, gaining contribution points. There's just so much to manage and work on at the start of the game, which is... Why it's, like, really fun. Eventually, progression slows down quite a bit when you get to, like, level 56, level 60, and you're trying to get upgrades and you're working your way towards soft cap, which is why I think I'm really enjoying this in comparison to the PC version of the game. Oh, what's this? Laurie's Lost Shoes. Hopefully it's an upgrade. My character cheered when she got it. Tree Hunt Spirit's Whisper Earring. Oh my god, we're just getting upgrades for days from the catfish. We're gonna have some nice gear by the time we're finished here. 5 AP, that's insanely good. And we get S rank on the catfish, man. This should be the final boss on my way to level 50, unless they've changed something. We'll kill him with the ulti. Big damage. And there it is. That's the end of the last boss, I think. We got another quest. Oh, that's level 49. That's given me a lot of XP into 49 as well. And now I'm getting my daily quests come in. I have no inventory space left. It's not going well. Let's go. Give me that duo Berez on zero fail stacks. Nope. F. <laughs> Tree on Spirit's Echo Ring. Okay, Laurie's lost helmet. We're just raining loot right now. 5 AP. This helmet's 33 DP. That's a huge upgrade. Boom, that's level 50. Nice. Now we can finally flag on people for PvP. <laughs> I'm getting very decent XP from killing mobs, even at level 50, so it doesn't seem to slow down that much. Let's kill this ranger. <laughs> oh, they're, they're pretty geared. <laughs> oh, here we go. We got some we got some PvP going on. <laughs> oh no, I'm doing like no damage to them. I'm getting my ass kicked. I'm gonna deflag and I'm gonna run. That was a little bit embarrassing, I'm not gonna lie. We either need to improve our gear or find someone with way worse gear than me. Alright, so apparently Calfion has an underground dungeon. If it does, I've never been there before. Okay, it does, and I have never been here before. Interesting. So right now I have a total of 5.4 million, and that's without all of the stuff that I'm intending to sell. There we go, at least we got the plus 10. So we end up with plus 9 heave gloves, plus 9 heave boots, and we get some achievements for enhancing. Brilliant. And we get the depressed title. Fantastic. So right now I'm taking on an ogre in hopes of getting an ogre ring. Well, it's a bit of a long shot. It's a very rare item to get. 
bit out of my depth at the moment. The ogre's been kicking my ass, been attacking it for a solid five minutes or so, and no ogring, of course. Well, it was worth a try. There's a wizard here, killing my manchas. I've got an ogre chasing me. Let's flag up and let's see if we can take on the wizard. Oh no, we cannot take on the wizard. <laughs> okay, we run. We run. The wizard is way stronger than me. Everyone I've attacked so far has been really strong. Okay, this person I'm actually dealing some damage to. I'm out damaging this person just about. Oh god. Well, I was. I was. Intense pre-awakened PvP. I'm bloody dead. I got sharon Sharon fucking got me. Sharon's hit me with a question mark. Now summoning her. Pop the ultimate on her. And we get XP. I remember the mobs down here being quite tough. I'd imagine there's a party of people grinding it. I'm getting my ass kicked by these mobs. Pff, I'm having to chug potions. I killed one. I got some silver bars. Oh my god, this is a long run. It's taken me all the way to Serendia Shrine. No, this was, this was a co-op quest, and I auto-pathed the wrong quest, and now I need to go all the way back over here. Oh, no, dude. I think I'm going to go to bed now, and I'm going to finish the quest line in the morning. The next day. Back again today, now running towards the Calfian Shrine area after my colossal fuck-up yesterday. And hopefully we can finish this quest chain. These mobs are dying way quicker than I remember them dying at the launch of the PC version of the game. Oh god, this is a bad idea. This is a bad idea. We should have killed the mobs before we came in the room. Apparently. If I remember correctly, these cyclops just take forever to kill. Oh my god, that almost bloody one-shot me. You'll be moved to a hidden place to proceed further with the quest. Okay. So go for a loading screen for this quest. Supposed to stop the dark ritual in here or something. I would have brought more potions with me if I knew I was going to be in a bloody place with Zarka. I don't think he can attack me, hopefully. Oh no, I can't even use my potions. You cannot perform this action inside the dungeon. Right. Got a little cutscene. I've never seen this before. She's given Zarka the old sook. This is the woman from the intro cutscene. With the sexy accent. Now we have to go to Serendia Shrine. I guess I'll go make myself a cup of tea then whilst I order path. Because this is a long, long run. It's like a solid 10 to 15 minute run. <laughs> I got two quests to do the exact same thing. So we're killing two birds with one stone with this one. Oh no! Oh no, I'm stunned! I don't do much damage to the bloody witch. Okay, I give up. It's not happening. We run. A disaster foretold. We get a bunch of XP for this quest. Will it give me the level? That's the question. Almost. 98% through level 50. And this is a huge upgrade because it gives me 30 extra accuracy, a bunch of evasion, more AP, a lot of DP. Final quest, we're going to go and grab the magical armor. I forgot about this, but as you level up, you get a bunch of different rewards, none of which I've claimed. 48 DP. Lots of evasion, lots of damage reduction. That is a massive upgrade. And this is why doing the main quest line at the start of the BDO Xbox launch is so worth it. This magical armor, when the Medaya expansion comes out as well, also gets upgraded to be... The equivalent of a duo piece of armor, so well worth doing. Oh, lucky! Here we go, we're gonna try and PvP once again. Big damage! Oh, we actually got a kill, let's go! <laughs> we had to pop our bloody ulti on him to do it, but we got a kill. Every Tom, Dick and Harry, every man and their dog, they're all down at the fucking catfish camp grinding in Black Desert today. Here we go. Oh no, we missed our ulti! Oh nice, I got the tree and belt. This fight's not going well, I I'm panicking. We get out of this fight, I think. Worst ranger, EU. Person's in the water, there's nothing they can do. Here we go, big ulti! Did we get the gank? He's almost dead. There it is, now we run. <laughs> That's the only way I can get kills, by just attacking people who aren't ready. <laughs> big damage! Wow. That didn't do a lot of damage. I think we should probably run. Good luck chasing uh, a ranger. I don't think you can do it. I'm like the fastest running class in the game. We'll go for plus 12. We've got seven fail stacks. Nice. That was easier than expected. Come back. Come back. 
Why are you running? Why are you running? Okay, here we go. The PvP action is strong. Oh, we got him. Oh, we got the kill. Nice. Oh, what about this person? Oh, no. I'm actually minus karma now. That's not good. We out here. We learning to PvP. We attacking some random warrior. He's probably very confused what he's done to be attacked. He's done a jump of shame. He's running away. Okay, we run. We run after him. <laughs> this is great. How do you CC someone when they're running as a pre-awakened ranger? I have no idea. Can we pop the ulti? Here we go. Oh, what? Oh, we got him. Nice. Oh, this is great. Now Mr. Berserker wants some. Oh, no. He's got the CC off. <laughs> I'm getting axed like a madman. He's almost down. He's almost down. Die, dude. He's done the jump of shame. <laughs> and he's dead. Oh, God, this guy hurts. Oh, he is not playing. This guy is not playing. <laughs> Seems like I came to the wrong neighborhood. <laughs> I'm interested in seeing how sieges turn out with the Xbox version of BDO. Sieging was always my favorite part of Black Desert. I really miss it a lot. Some of my best memories of the game were from sieging, so be interesting to see how well it runs on Xbox. So after playing BDO Xbox for a few hours, the following things really stuck out for me. Trash loot is worth way more and drops much less frequently than the PC version of the game. This means you don't need high tier pets to get all of your stuff auto looted, as well as also reducing the weight burden on your character. Throughout my time playing, I had absolutely no issues with weight, and I found the inventory space I was rewarded with from questing to be more than sufficient. It seems like the Xbox version doesn't require too much in investment into convenience compared to the PC version of the game. Instead of only grinding to level up, you can now just quest all the way to level 50 and get a lot of rewards for it. I found the questing to be well paced and I didn't feel too disadvantaged that I wasn't just grinding my way up. When it comes to the user interface, I think it looks quite clean, although unlike the PC version of the game, it lacked customization options such as scaling, the option to hide the chat and so on. Maybe this will be changed in the future. I was surprised how quickly I got comfortable with the controller controls. It didn't take long before I started to build up muscle memory when grinding and overall I found that playing the game with a controller was quite chill due to just being able to sit back and relax more. Visually the graphics didn't look as sharp and the game didn't run as smoothly as on PC but I guess that's to be expected due to the hardware limitations of a console. Overall covering this game was a fairly decent experience despite me probably being the worst ranger player out there. Personally, I would still rather play the PC version of the game due to my PC being much more powerful and me already having an account that I'm invested in, but if you do have an Xbox One and could never afford a good PC to run the game on, then maybe it's worth checking out the Xbox version instead. The link for the website is in the description below. But that's it for this video guys, thanks again to Pearl Abyss for sponsoring this video. It really took me back to the first Journey to Level Cap video I made for BDO over three years ago now. I hope you enjoyed the video, feel free to follow my Instagram and other social media linked below. Thanks for watching, I hope you all have a great day, and I'll see you again really soon.